In this video, we are going to construct OLS estimators for the population parameter beta, but we're going to do it instead of mathematically, we're going to do it using geometrical arguments. So up until this point, what we've spoken about in terms of the geometry of OLS is that there is some particular column space which is spanned by the columns of our independent variables or the matrix of our independent variables x. And the idea is that we're trying to get as close to the point y as possible, given that we are constrained to lie within this particular column space. And the idea with OLS is that we can find a particular vector, which I'm going to call mu hat, and mu hat is as close as we can get to y, given that we are lying within that particular column space. It's actually the orthogonal projection of y onto the column space of x. And because of this, you can sort of think about mu hat as satisfying the following relationship. Mu hat actually is the particular value of mu, which mu being constrained to lie within the column space of x, which minimizes the Euclidean distance between y and mu all squared. Uh, sorry, the Euclidean distance, which is y minus mu all squared. Okay, so we've already spoken about the fact that mu hat is actually just equal to x times beta hat for the circumstance where our matrix of independent variables is actually a full column rank. In this video, I want to talk about how we can actually construct estimators or how we can construct the estimator beta hat though. So the idea with the way in which we've set the problem up geometrically is that y minus mu hat should itself be orthogonal to the column space of x. In other words, it, it's kind of at 90 degrees to the column space of x. You can just see that from the fact I've drawn this right angle here. Because if it wasn't orthogonal, then I could get a little bit closer to y by moving somewhere else on the column space of x. So our sort of condition here is for our estimator that x primed times this vector y minus mu hat has to be equal to zero because that's the condition for x to be orthogonal to y minus mu hat. Furthermore, we know that mu hat is just equal to x times beta hat. So we can just write this as x times beta hat. And we've got the fact that this is equal to zero. If we then expand this out, we get that x primed times y is equal to x primed x times beta hat. And then if we just pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of x primed times x, we get that beta hat is equal to x primed x all to the power minus 1 times x primed y. So we've recovered our original OLS formula. And note that we haven't really done any sort of serious maths here. We haven't done any differentiation. We've really just constructed it by using a geometric argument, which is quite a nice sort of neat thing to do.